Number 19, the sun. This card is absolutely fantastic, no matter where it is, or what it is. Upright, reversed, who cares. Basically, upright, it indicates happiness, celebration, contentment, reward, as well as popularity. There is also a chance of childbirth or successful pregnancy, especially if the Ten of Cups or the Empress is nearby. In an Earth-based reading, the Sun card upright indicates an opportunity for you to excel in the office, as well as here but an opportunity to make not only a one-time incentive of extra funds, but an ongoing. There is also a chance of the Sun card upright more play than work could be going on in the workplace, but nobody cares because they're all having a good time and still getting their stuff done. As an air-based reading, the Sun card upright indicates news of a celebration or gathering you could be going to, or somebody just showing you or expressing appreciation for who you are and what's going on. You could be hearing about an opportunity to actually get together with a whole bunch of friends. It doesn't even have to be an occasion. It will be its own occasion. The Sun card is enjoyment. As a challenge, the Sun card is still a good card. Basically, this challenge of the Sun card is being able to actually be happy and have that happiness be infectious. That's it. For your emotions with water, the Sun card upright does indicate an opportunity for you to actually get into a new relationship or find love. However, there is not a negative connotation here, but you have to not only be willing and ready, you have to have an open schedule. That's the only bit of advice. For couples, the Sun card upright shows bliss, happiness, contentment, possibility of maybe even talking about moving things further in your relationship, getting married, getting engaged, talking about having a baby. It could be anything like that. It's all about contentment at this point in time. You couldn't feel better. I don't care if you're going out on a date or you're staying in and watching a movie. You're in good shape. For your spiritual advice, the Sun card upright is much like the challenge. Make happiness infectious, and at the same time, also learn to be happy with what you have, because a lot more is coming, but it's not going to come to you if you're not grateful. Reversed, the Sun card pretty much keeps its meaning. However, it's just in a slightly diminished capacity. So, if there's anything negative about it, it's that you're not getting 100% of what you wanted maybe more like a 95. Oh well. In an Earth-based reading, the Sun card reverse shows that things might be, be starting a little bit slow if you were actually starting a new job. However, you can definitely make the most of this and turn that Sun upside down. There is also a chance for those who are currently working to actually have plenty of time at work, but if they are, you know, doing all, all play and no work, this time it's not really getting done, but nobody's really minding that either. In a communications-based reading with air, the Sun card reverse shows that there is also a chance that you could find out about some good news that isn't exactly 100% of what you were hoping for, we've already said that, but at the same time, it's still good news. The Sun card reverse could also show you could hear about somebody else winning a prize or a drawing, and you might be slightly envious that they did and you didn't. As a challenge, the Sun card reverse basically says the challenge is to make the most of what you have and to learn to appreciate the most of what other have, others have and what they can bring to the table as well. Remember, it's the thought that counts. For your emotions with water, the Sun card reverse shows that you could find somebody new this week, but you have to make sure that you're not being too picky. Sure, you like brunettes. Well, this perfect person happens to be blonde. Are you going to go jump off a bridge about it? Probably shouldn't, because they're actually a really nice person. That's the message of the Sun card reverse. Same goes for those of you who are couples. Realize that your partner is not going to be exactly what you want them to be. They are going to be exactly who they are. And if they're compatible with you, that's a good thing. For your spiritual advice, the Sun card reverse says, make sure that you realize that, you know what, everything is going to have its own unique flair. It's not going to fit to your perfect design, but it can still be very good for you.